pretty good. All right, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you are new to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching House of Dragons. It just came out. It is currently 10.30 right now. It just came out at 9 p.m. for me, so let's make this quick. Although we haven't finished Game of Thrones yet, I know we're still on Game of Thrones, but I was told in the comments this shouldn't spoil anything for me. It's not going to... It shouldn't matter if I watch this. It's not going to spoil anything for me because it is a prequel set 200 or so years before the Game of Thrones I'm currently watching. The only thing it might spoil is what the dragons are capable of later on in the show, which isn't the biggest spoiler. If anything, it could help me understand the dragons more for seasons 6, 7, and 8 in Game of Thrones. So, so what do I know about House of Dragons? Um, I'm pretty sure it's about the Targaryens, so Khaleesi's ancestors, when they were at the height of ruling Westeros. This is this this is what this show is about. It's about the Targaryens all the way back then when they were they were popping. They were at their peak, you know, before they low-key kind of fell off. Okay. <laughs> Not really, but and before all the dragons went extinct and everything. So and what's actually pretty cool is okay, so I okay, so I just watched Game of Thrones season five, episode nine, right? And Stannis's daughter was reading a book called The Dance of Dragons, which the way she described it, like when she told Sir Devos what it's about, it's like, I'm pretty sure that's just House of Dragons, <laughs> you know? So if that's correct, because she said the book was about the Targaryens and their history and everything, which so that his daughter Shireen was reading in her book about, which that's pretty cool. That's pretty damn cool, honestly. So and yes, I have I just watched uh season five episode nine it's for shireen oh and i also saw episode 10. i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it okay anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as i can't say early access because this show is a week to week show so but if you'd like to watch early access to game of thrones that will be on patreon on Patreon, voice crack. So anyways, let's get started. Whatever. The health of the old king, Jaehaerys, was failing. Jaehaerys, okay. So Jaehaerys is- Still the dragons under its yoke. 10? Fuck. But King Jaehaerys is about a croak. Prince Jaehaerys Targaryen, be made Prince of Dragon's Cove. A woman would not inherit the Iron Throne. Sexist. It is now the ninth year of the king of the series one Targaryen's reign, which was used before the death of the Mad King, Ares, and the birth of his daughter, Prince Daenerys Targaryen. 172 years before Daenerys Targaryen. Okay. Damn, they would just be riding dragons like it's a fucking Uber. I should probably turn subtitles on. Every time that golden beast brings you back unspoiled, it saves my head from a spike. Yeah. It's growing quickly. Should soon be as large as Caraxes. That's almost large enough. Okay, Sarlax and Caraxes. Tend to the spectator. Thank you. Yeah, I would not want to ride that shit. Like, how do you know it's not just gonna kill you? In this bed soon enough, Renera. Renera. This okay. discomfort is how we serve the realm. I'd rather serve as a knight and ride to battle in glory. Mm. <laughs> Honest. Kind of like Daenerys. Urge your brother to fill his seat in the council. Mm -hmm. Provide an assessment of his progress as commander of the watch. Commander of the watch. What, the Night's Watch. Lord Commander of the Watch. Probably, that's probably not what they meant. Cost of the tournament is not negligible. Perhaps we might delay until. Does he drink wine? Both of them drink wine. Hmm. We have no way of predicting the sex of the child. There's a boy in the queen's belly. I know it. And my heir will soon put all of this damnable hand wringing to rest himself. No, it's not. It's, it's a girl. He's too confident. It's gonna. Be, it's gonna be a girl. There it is. God be good. It's the Iron Throne. Okay. Why? Why is there a fuck ton of swords surrounding it? Like now. I know that uh, Baelish and Varys had a conversation in this room talking about. The swords in him, everything, so. Probably answered my question in that. 
But I don't remember what, exactly what they said. You and I both are in a small piece of our ancestry. Uh-huh. You're always like this when you're worried. Like what? Disagreeable. <laughs> worried your father is about to overshadow you with a son. I only worry. Yep. What are you doing? Do you remember? Mm. If the scepter sees this book, Fuck then the scepter. Rhaenyra! Fuck the scepter. <laughs> Rhaenyra is a savage. Can you say yet what it is? What the fuck is that? Like yeah. staff infection? The small cut from sitting the throne. It's nothing. Oh, oh. Okay. Nah, bro, you, you got a staff infection. Bro, that shit's gonna kill him. I already know it. Yeah. I'm certain of it. I've never been more certain of anything. Mm hmm. It was clearer than a memory. It's gonna be a girl. Our son was born wearing Egon's iron crown. Bro, you're just, you're projecting, you're convincing yourself it's gonna be. You know what? He's manifesting it. That's what he's doing. I've lost one babe in the cradle, had two stillbirths and two pregnancies and it well before their term. That's five. And twice as many years. Damn. I know it is my duty to provide you an heir. And I'm sorry Damn. if I have failed. I've mourned all the dead children. Uh, I better hope it's a fucking boy. What the fuck? You're a pack of hounds. You're sated. Home for the hunt. Oh! Right. My Are these soldiers or is this fucking fright? Brother city has fallen into squalor. Mm. Okay, yeah, they mean the city watch, not the night's watch. Okay. I think tonight King's Landing will learn to fear the color gold. <laughs> oh, oh my god, we just cut that fool's fucking hand off. I mean, he did say they're criminals, so. <gasps> oh, wait, what are they doing? All right, cutting his dick off. Uh, I think that's his dick. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. If, are these people like actually guilty? Oh my god, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> I mean, he did say the King's Landing sold a bunch of criminals, but I. Was caught to haul away the resulting dismemberments when it was done. <sighs> Fuck. The prince cannot be allowed to act with this kind of unchecked impunity. Yeah, bro, he's kind of like Joffrey. <laughs> like that's some shit Joffrey would do, but. He talks like a Ramsey too. Ascending upon King's Landing for my brother's tourney. Do you want them mugged, raped, murdered? Mm. I just hope you don't have to maim half of my city to achieve this. Yeah. Like if you kill everyone in the city, there's no city. If only the prince would show the same devotion to his lady wife as he does his work, your grace. Ooh. Your wife in marriage. I'd like give Lady Rare to you, Lord Hightower, if you're in one. Dude, Damon's kind of a fucking prick. Your own lady wife passed recently. Oh. Otto. Okay, he he's like as calm as uh, Ramsey when he's like doing stuff and provoking people. Like Joffrey gets really emotional and like really angry, but Ramsey he stays calm. He's like Ramsey in that way, but then he'll just go and murder a bunch of people like Joffrey. Like Ramsey would murder people too, but I feel like what he'd do with the City Watch is something Joffrey would have done, like for fun, honestly. Right of Caraxes, will of dark sister. The king cannot replace you. Oh, but he's going to. Eventually. Queen Emma has begun her labors. How, how could they hear him, bro? <laughs> no shot. Those people right there can hear him from all the way over there. Ooh, POV. Bro, I feel like it's really just who who gets lucky. Like, I'm sure there's technique behind it, but like, I'm sure I feel like 80% of this is luck. And that guy who's like, yeah, I don't need your help. I don't need your your good luck. Just got fucked up. That he's just unhorsed both of the Baratheon lads. Hmm. The Baratheon lads. House of Dragon. Oh, his fucking helmet has a. That's sick. The dragon wings on that. Like I said, it's an actual dragon just sitting on his helmet. That's pretty cool. Five dragons left, Damon. <laughs> yeah, I feel Damon, bro. I didn't win. Mm, this is Sun. Uh, 
Oh shit. Can you oh can you do that? I don't know. Smart, I guess. Ah, uh, dude, probably just broke that horse's fucking legs. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, boo, no one like that. Like, there's something you could probably do, but it's just hella cheap. And I'm pretty sure that dude was his son that Damon just beat. <sighs> if I heard, if I heard him say it right. <gasps> oh, we're giving birth. What's happening? The infant is in breach, Your Grace. All attempts to turn the baby failed. Oh. Strong woman. She's fighting with all her might, but it may not be enough. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> no, you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> oh, he's missed. Ah! I wonder if this is oh. how we should celebrate the birth of our future king. <laughs> yeah. No. <gasps> It's not setting a good tone for the kid. It's a marvel that war didn't break out of first blood. No. Oh! Oh! Right, I guess you could do that in a joust. Oh, yeah, that forged the rope. Damn. Oh! Damn, I guess you guys. I guess you're just allowed to start fighting each other, I guess. I don't know shit about jousting. During a difficult birth. It sometimes becomes necessary for the father to make an impossible choice. No. To sacrifice one or to lose them both. Dude, what? There is a chance that we can save the child. A technique is taught at the Citadel which involves cutting directly into the womb to free the uh, infant. Okay, a C-section, but... Fuck, what does he do? Is he... Is, how confident are you it's a boy? Come on, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? You can save the child. Uh, we must either act now or leave it with the gods. Fuck, I, he's going for the child. And it's gonna be a girl. Damn, yeah, I guess like a C section in this day and age would just absolutely fucking kill the woman. They're going to bring the baby out now. Mm. Yeah, he chose the baby. And bro, yeah, she has no idea what's about to happen. I, I love you. Uh, no, it's alright. Oh, no, this is so sad. It's all right. No, I'm scared, man. Don't be scared. No. I'm making the first incision. Uh, no, no. This is so sad. Dude, you know how fucking bad that would hurt, too? Oh, damn. Oh. Bro, Damon is trash, bro. Oh. <gasps> oh. Okay, no, he's pretty. He on the feet, he's pretty nice. He's pretty nice. Yeah. Okay, I like how it's going back and forth between the jousting tournament and the, the pregnancy. It's like two really high intense scenes going back and forth, you know. Oh, bro. Damon. Bro. <laughs> He's fucking threw it at him. Oh, it worked. Ah, they got the baby, but what is it a boy or a girl? He's looking. Oh, Damon, you fucking Obrian mistake. Obrian mistake. Yeah, healed. Okay. Don't snake him, Damon. Don't snake. Okay. Don't snake him. I feel like he's he's that type of guy. He's Dornish. Hoping to ask for the princess's favor. Mm, he's Dornish, so that means he's handsome. <laughs> Sir Kristen. Ah, she's dead. R.I.P. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have a son. Oh, he took a fat fucking risk right there. It's a boy. It fucking better be a boy, bro. I just sacrificed my wife. Queen chosen a name. Nagafool's top. Balin. Aww. 
Oh wait, the baby died too? Wait, yeah, I was wondering what that little thing was too, with the... Oh! Is that why the maester was looking at it kind of weird? Damn, well you just, you lost your wife for nothing now. Damn it. Yeah, I saw the little one right there when they showed it and I was like, what the fuck is that? But damn, they, they, so they both fucking died. That's so sad. Damon Targaryen. If Damon mm -hmm. were to remain the uncontested, it could destabilize the realm. Yep. The realm? No one here can know what Damon would do were he king, but no one can doubt his ambition. Dude, Damon's fucking unstable, bro. As master of coin, you said he was a spendthrift that would be <laughs> on you either by design or design. accident. Design? What are you, yeah, what the fuck are you trying to say? My brother would murder me. Yeah. Take my cross. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. <gasps> Please. Yes, he would, bro. Look at that. Look at look at his eyes. But not for the throne. Oh yes, he, he was just sitting. Bro, he wants that throne. He was literally sitting on it earlier, and he laughed when he said that. The king's firstborn child, Rhaenyra. A girl. No queen has ever mm. sat behind her. That is yeah. it. Fuck it. If order and stability so concerns this council, then perhaps we shouldn't break 100 years of it by naming a girl hey. heir. I don't know how this is this show, but I'm telling you, there's about to be, in 200 years, there's about to be. Confident in Khaleesi's. So go, you announced your support for Damon. If we cannot agree on an heir, then how can we My expect a realm? My son are dead! Mm. I will not sit here and suffer crows that come to feast on their corpses! Yeah. Yeah, but imagine how much stress he's in right now and just like... How much grief he's going through because he made the decision to sacrifice his wife for the kid, but the kid didn't make it. All the grief and regret and guilt he's probably going through right now. Before we begin... Your Grace, I have a report I feel compelled to share. What? Last night. Oh my god. What demon do? King and council have long rooted my position as next in line to the throne. What the fuck does this fool do? If just as the gods take away, he toasted Prince Balon to the king's son, oh. styling him the heir for a day. Wow. Wow. That's a little disrespectful. Report with three separate witnesses. The evening was, by all accounts, a celebration. Wow. Hell, disrespectful. We must all mourn in our own way, Your Grace. Mm. My family has just been destroyed. But instead of being by my side or near us, you chose to celebrate your own rise! Laughing with your whores and your mm -hmm. leg spittles! Selfish. No allies at court but me! I have only ever defended you! Back in my face! You've only ever tried to send me away to the Vale, to the City Watch, anywhere but by what? your side. We're trying to give you a job, fool. You're just bad at everything. And the blood of the dragon runs thick. Then why do you cut me so deep? I've only ever spoken the truth. I see Otto Hightower for what he is. Oh, wavering and loyal. A cunt. Otto Hightower is a more honorable man than you could ever be. He doesn't protect you. I would. From what? Yourself. Weak. Viserys. Ah, uh, he's just a good guy. I have decided to name a new heir. Who? I'm your heir. Not anymore. Yeah, fuck you. Not that that bullshit. By order of your king. Hmm. <gasps> yeah, what are you gonna do, huh? Uh, he cut himself. Yeah, I do. Why the? He already cut his back on that shit, but like, dog. <laughs> Why would you have a chair made out of fucking swords? I, it's it's sick as fuck, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's just fucked up. Fuck, up. fuck getting cut. The idea that we control the dragons is an illusion. You believe just like everyone else. When they brought Valeria, it's doom. If we don't mind our own histories, it will do the same to us. Yeah. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Rhaenyra. I have Ooh, wasted. He's gonna make her the queen. He's making her. He's sh she's the heir. All right, the first girl to sit on the Iron Throne. Damon's gonna be pissed. Damon is your heir. Fuck Damon. <laughs> Damon was not made to wear the crown, but I believe that you were. 
trivial gesture. We never. The dragon saddle is one thing, but the Iron Throne is the most dangerous mm -hmm. seat in the realm. Yeah, everyone's trying to get it, trying to get it from you. They tell us that Egon looked across the black water from Dragonstone, saw a rich land ripe for the capture. But ambition alone is not what drove him to conquest. Egon foresaw the end of the world of men. Mm -hmm. Just to begin with a terrible winter, uh... dusting out of the distant north. <laughs> Stark, Lord uh, of oh. Winterfell. Egon. Oh shit! There's Stark in here. When this great winter comes, Munira. All of Westeros must stand against it. Oh, fuck yeah. But Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne. A king or... All right. Strong enough to unite the realm against the cold and the dark. Now you must promise to carry it. And protect it. Ah, uh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. So I'm guessing the Great Winter doesn't happen until 200 years from now in the Game of Thrones where we're now watching. To the Iron Throne. Fuck yeah. All right. Any post credits? I highly doubt it. Nope. Oh. Oh, I know that's how the show was made. Oh, okay. Well, that was House of the Dragon. Wow. Okay. That was a really goddamn good first episode. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. All right, so that was House of the Dragon. Really damn good, honestly. I really liked it. I thought it was really fucking good. One thing I noticed was just the cinematography of it was a lot different. You know, I mean, it's a lot more modern. I like the creativity they had with the shots they used and when they used them for like effect and everything. Like it, like, it put a lot more dramatic effect on Damon. I felt like, you know, which I, he is a very dramatic character, you know, and like, and he reminds me, okay. <sighs> Damon, here's what he reminds me of. He reminds me of a mix of Joffrey and Ramsay, which... Is he just gonna be like the most absolute men menace character of like this entire universe? Like, I feel like he's just gonna be the worst of both. I feel like he's just gonna be the worst of both, <laughs> you know? He talks like Ramsay and he's calm like Ramsay, but then again, he has like these impulsive, this, he has like the emotion of Joffrey. You know, does that make, I hope that makes sense. And he, I feel like he's gonna be a very dangerous character, very dangerous. And he's probably gonna be, he's gonna be extremely pissed that he's not gonna be the heir. You know, I'm gonna butcher the names for now. Cause like, I'm, these are all brand new names. I've never heard these names before in my life. Okay. Uh, the King right now, Viserys, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, he told Rhaenyra. I think that's how you say her name so okay one day she's gonna be queen right and he he warned her about this great winter that Aegon that Aegon first talked about you know this great winter right now okay I'm assuming the great winter doesn't happen with until the next 200 years okay that happens in our game of thrones that we're currently watching right you know it's like the winter winter is coming you know it's what Ned's talking about it's the white walkers and the whites okay and he said, he said, and he said, in order to survive the great winter, a Targaryen must be seated on the Iron Throne, king or queen. Only a Targaryen can unite all of Westeros to defeat it, right? Which, okay, that's fire because that's what Daenerys right now, that's what she's trying to do. And, uh, you know, okay, obviously we haven't finished Game of Thrones. I'm assuming she eventually she's going to get to the Iron Throne. I'm assuming she is eventually, but she still has a little bit ways to go in the Game of Thrones that we're currently watching. Okay, that could have been a spoiler for Game of Thrones, you know, but it's like, well, it's what it's what the show's been building to since the fucking beginning. So it's like, eh, it's not really a spoiler. I guess it kind of might confirm if it happens or not. Maybe. I don't know. But I just thought that was really cool because that's, you know, it's like, that's the only way we're going to survive this great winter. So, and so it makes me more excited to go back and watch Game of Thrones now. So, you know, I think the show is just going to make me more excited. And the more I know about, like, I've learned about the Targaryens and everything and everyone else. Because we got the Baratheons, we got the Starks in it too. They're not as, you know, main characters, but they're people, you know, people are like, oh, I am Stark of Winterfell. I am a Baratheon, you know, it's just cool to hear their names too. And then, but Viserys, he wanted a son, right? And his wife was going to give birth. Now, he was given a choice. 
no. He had the fate. He had an ultimatum, right? You have to sacrifice one, or you lose them both, right? And like, okay, I don't blame him for choosing the son, because uh, it, I mean it's pretty fucked up if you think about it. Because his wife was like, "This is the last one. If I can't do, I can't keep doing this anymore. I can't mourn. I can't. I can't keep mourning these kids, you know, that aren't making it." It's pretty sad to think about, and I'm sure that was he took that into consideration. He's like, "Well, this is this is the last time." my wife's gonna have a kid sure he could get a new wife like i don't know if that's a viable option i'm sure like there's some like law or rule or whatever to where it's like no that it's invalid if you do that i don't know that's just what i'm assuming so he's like yeah, all right i'm gonna sacrifice my wife i'm gonna sacrifice one of them my wife for this kid and he was so certain it was a boy i mean he was right but the kid did not survive which is actually really fucking sad you know okay okay i didn't immediately realize the kid didn't survive because like my brother knocked on my door and i was like oh hold on you know because like i don't want him to like walk in you know i missed something you know so but i guess i missed something or whatever and then like i texted him really quick and i was like hey i, I was like hey i'm recording really quick and i guess as i was doing that i was i missed something but but I quickly realized a little short after I was wondering like when they showed the queen's body wrapped up I was wondering what that little I was wondering what the other thing wrapped up was too I was like what the I was like wait did the kid not survive but then Damon said it and I was like oh shit so and so but it just made Viserys kind of realize oh well I have an heir right in front of me you know it's fuck <laughs> hold on Rhaenyra okay I had to listen to her name again um he was like i have rhaenyra right in front of me you know i basically i could have done this years ago but i wanted a boy so bad i just you know it blinded me it, so, but he finally came he finally came to it and he made rhaenyra the heir to the throne so and i'm really excited to continue the series it, it seems really fucking good so far like i really love i really like the cinematography in it and like how it's shot and the color grading and everything oh so good like it's definitely a different shooting style than the Game of Thrones I'm used to watch than the Game of Thrones I'm used to watching. So it's a little refreshing, honestly. It like okay, it definitely feels like a brand new show too. It's kind of like obviously the time gap isn't this dramatic, but it's like you know you got Star Wars like let's say the prequel movies, and then like you watch Revenge of the Sith, and then if you were to go and watch Kenobi, yeah, sure they're back to back in the timeline. But when, just like the cin cinematography styles, they're two. They're so, like, they're very different styles, you know. And that's how the show felt like. But this show is. But this show did an awesome job. It's not a knock on it. It still kept me into it the entire time, you know. It did a really good job of emphasizing what's important and stuff, you know. And like the biggest thing with the show is like I really like it felt like Game of Thrones. It it just felt like Game of Thrones, you know, with the acting, the dialogue. The scenery the environments just everything it they did a really good job of making it feel the same but in a newer way does that make sense like in a newer way but it's also a good way like with the older star wars stuff you know like the the original trilogy and the prequels you know to me that that feels like star wars that is star wars to me and like the clone wars and everything but then you watch some of the newer disney stuff and you're like ah sometimes like it just it doesn't feel like star wars you know it, it just feels off at times you know and like but like rogue one did a great job like rogue one definitely felt like star wars but some other other things like uh, kind of just like uh yeah. it, it doesn't feel the same but yeah but this show did an amazing job of making it feel like that now like i obviously i'm still watching game of thrones so i haven't really been able to absorb all of it and really get into the lore of it too much because because like the biggest thing is like if i start like i don't want to like watch a youtube video about like oh the history of the history of something in it and then like they say a spoiler within some in the show where i haven't seen it yet i'm like mm. Like that kind of happened one time. I was watching like a, a video of like, oh, why season three of Game of Thrones is so amazing. I was like, oh, in my head, I was like, oh, I've seen Game, I've seen season three. I can watch this. I know what happens. But then they started showing clips from like, shit I haven't seen yet. And I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that. Get off, get off, get off, get off. You know, so, you know, I don't want to accidentally spoil anything for myself. So I try and stay away from those. 
but like with Star Wars, it's like, yeah, I've seen all of Star Wars. So like I know what happens. So like I can watch all the videos I want, you know, and like everything will make sense to me and it really helped connect everything in Star Wars together. So I guess I really want to, I won't really get to experience that with Game of Thrones until I finish it because then once I know everything in the original Game of Thrones, then I can go back and watch all those YouTube videos and not worry about spoilers or anything, you know. But this show will, this show will definitely help with, uh, with understanding a lot of it. I feel like I'll understand Game of Thrones a lot better with watching this show or I'll just understand the Targaryens more, you know, so. But yeah, that was House of the Dragon. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.